Hey what is up everybody, today I'm going to show you how to complete the square of any quadratic function and find the vertex and it's super super easy. And so when you complete the square, you're basically bringing the function from the standard form into the vertex form. And so we have the function 2x squared minus 4x minus 2. And the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the coefficient and you factor it out for the first two terms. And so that coefficient is 2, and you're going to factor the 2 out from 2x squared minus 4x. And so this will give you 2 times x squared minus 2x minus 2. So notice that you have only factored out the number 2 for the first two terms only. We're not going to do anything with the last term yet. And so the first step is pretty straightforward. The second step is also very easy. You take the middle number, which is negative 2, you divide it by 2, and then you square it. So negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. And negative 1 squared gives you positive 1. And so you add 1 in there. So in the function, when you add a number, also make sure to subtract the same number because you don't want to change the function. So all we're doing here is we're adding to 0. And so some of you might have recognized that this expression here is a perfect square. So x squared minus 2x plus 1 is the same thing as x minus 1 squared. And so you can replace this with this expression here. Last step. The last step is you bring this whole expression into the vertex form. And I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, I'm going to move this function to the left so it's easier for us to see. So you want to bring the negative 1 out of the bracket so we can simplify it. And when you bring a number out of the bracket, you also have to multiply that number by the number in front, which is number 2. So we will have 2 times x minus 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 2. So when we bring the negative 1 out of the bracket, we also multiply it to number 2. And so 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2 gives you negative 4. And this is basically our answer in vertex form. And so let's try one more problem. We have 1 over 2 x squared plus 3x minus 2. And again, you look at the first coefficient and you factor it out for the first two terms. And so if you do that, you're going to have 1 over 2 times x squared plus 6x minus 2. And so some of you might be wondering, why is this number 6? Well, it's because if you take 1 over 2 and multiply it by 6, it is going to give you 3. And so it makes sense. And so the second step is you take the middle number, which is 6, you divide it by 2, and then you square it. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 3 squared is positive 9. And so you add 9 into the function. And so when you add 9, you also subtract 9. So you're not changing the function in any way. And so it turns out that x squared plus 6x plus 9 is the same thing as x plus 3 to the power of 2. And so you can replace this with this expression here. And now the last step is to simplify it. So before I do that, I'm going to bring this function again to the left so it's easier for us to see. And you want to bring the negative 9 out of the bracket. And when you do that, you also multiply it to 1 half. And so 1 half times negative 9 is negative 9 over 2. And negative 2 is also the same thing as negative 4 over 2 because we find the common denominator. And negative 9 over 2 minus 4 over 2 gives you negative 13 over 2. And so this is our answer in vertex form. And we have successfully converted this function from the standard form into the vertex form. Now it is your time to try it yourself. So I would like you to complete the square for the function x squared plus 5x plus 6 and bring this into the vertex form. And so I hope you guys have learned something new today. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button and comment down your questions and the answer down below. I'll see you guys next time.